Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is probably one of my most difficult battles in life um, beyond sexual addiction. This would probably be a second. Alcohol. Yeah. Well, alcohol. Uh, moderation. Moderation, 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 moderation. Why do you know that? You got to know it. You got to figure out how to know it. There's limits. It's legal. Yes, I know. But God gave us it not to abuse. Please don't abuse it. Alcohol. Alcohol. Oh, my goodness. I, rem I know this much. Um, when I started to drink, when I was in the military, um, this is the reason I got out. I got kicked out. But I knew I had a problem. So I got out honorably. And... Um, from there on, I had no, I had no mentor, I had no limitations. You know, I had no parents to tell me what to do. I joined when I was 18, and I got out. No one told me what to do, so I just did what made me feel good, um, and that's what made me feel good all the time. I had a lot of depression. Um, every time I almost tried to kill myself was because of alcohol. Um, it's not good at all. I remember taking some pills and. Um, I also remember holding a knife to my wrist, you know. Alcohol is poison. I did some research on it um, at a point in my life, and literally the article that a doctor read was, you are literally drinking poison, point blank. Um, that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. But we're not going to look down on the ones who do drink. Um, and the ones who are drinking excessively, we're going to support them, not their habit, and show them God's love. Alcohol. Oof. <sighs> I mean, dang. Uh, most bad things I've ever done was because I was alcohol, sleeping with trannies because I was on alcohol, doing drugs because I because alcohol was like the the gateway, you know, of it. Um, all of these things were alcohol based, you know. So I thought it was small and then it grew, you know. Um, man, but now being saved, whew, alcohol is totally bad, you know, and. To my perspective, unless you know how to control it, if you're growing up with abusive or addictive parents who are addicted to it, isn't you're gonna probably more likely be addicted to it too. Um, if you're not, God bless, you know. But uh, alcohol is good. You have to know how to moderate yourself, you know. And a lot of us, as being young or being in that mentality, which is the ego, I can handle this. No, <laughs> no, like, if you say that you want, and I've tried, that I'm not going to drink on this day, and you drink, you are not in control. If you say that you're going to do something, you don't do it, you're not in control. It's in control of you. Um, I do kind of miss it, but then when I think about everything that I've ever lost, I mean, it even caused me to go homeless, which was a new experience, and it ultimately taught me something, but doesn't necessarily mean that I need to be punished to be taught anything, you know? So, please, don't choose bad mistakes just because, you know, whatever. <laughs> Take it in moderation. Know your limit. How do you do that, you know? You're going to experience it more likely. You're going to have those times when you're, you're going to get drunk. You're going to do this. You're going to do bad things, but let that one teaching be taught. Okay, that's my limit, you know? Have a friend. Develop a friend that tells you the truth. Not someone who's just encouraging you to go deeper into sin, but one who's like morally and spiritually balanced. And unfortunately, you're not going to learn limitations without someone spiritually balanced. So get you a Christian friend 
or get you someone spiritually influential. Someone, you need someone to, to you need a guardian. I needed a guardian. I had a guardian. Um, a lot of them, you know, and I wish I would have listened to them. I wish I would have hung out with them more, you know, and what they were saving me from. And I was hanging out with the people who were like, jug, 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 more, more, more. And man, they put me in some places in life. I don't hate them. Um, I pray for them, you know. But alcohol is dangerous. It's dangerous. It, I mean, where I was going, where I've seen people go from it, you know, it's not good. It's literally poison. So if you do drink, drink in moderation. And if you don't know how, you need to find something spiritually to guide you. And I'm not for any other spiritual religion or anything like that. I'm all about Jesus. And Jesus is not a religion. He's not a religion. He's a relationship. So please moderate yourself. You know, it's okay to drink and just relax. But if you're going above and beyond, and I am a hypocrite of it, I know it. Because the things that I've done are no, so who am I to tell you? I know pain, you know, and if you want to know pain and you want to know more about pain, you drink. Someone told me that alcohol is the fastest way to hell, and I know that for sure. I was an alcoholic for five years, and God set me free. He can set you free, or he can keep you from falling into that chamber of darkness. In the Bible, it says that, Wine, which is alcohol, is for those, those who are dying, those who have no hope. For if you want to be in command and be in charge of your life, you don't drink and you won't. But if you don't care and you're dying, come on, man. Come on, woman. Let's do this. Let's, let's not drink. God bless you. We love you. And um, ultimately, I have those cravings, but then I, when I think about what I would sacrifice for that, I laugh. And I'm like, no, never again. God bless you. Take care.